deception. We are living in a time of deception. And Jesus made it very clear. He said, just before you see me coming again, one of the prominent signs that will be upon the earth is deception. When the disciples sat Jesus down in Matthew chapter number 24, they asked him a very, very direct question. Actually, they're asking two very direct questions. And here are the questions. They say, tell us when will these things be and what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? And Jesus answered and said to him, take heed that no man deceives you. Take heed that no one deceives you. In other words, Jesus says one of the dominant, prominent signs that he is coming again is the sign of deception. Now the word deception is the Greek word plano and it means to depart away from the truth, to depart away from the word of the Lord and to start to accommodate things that we have never accommodated before. So if you look at the surroundings around us right now, we are seeing many things that we have never seen that the people of God have started to accommodate. For an example, a Christian cannot be a person that lives in sexual immorality. A Christian cannot be a person that is confused about their identity. A Christian cannot be a, a person that is filled with the things of this world. We are called to be different than the world. That's why we are called the church. The word church is the Greek word uh, ekklesia. The word ek means out, the word kaleo means called. So we are called to be different. But Jesus made it very clear one of the dominant signs is that deception will be rampant all around us. Now I want to encourage you today to get back into the Word of the Lord and treat the Word of the Lord as an absolute. Don't be religious, but apply the Word of the Lord with the spirit of the Word of the Lord. In actual fact, I want you to understand three dimensions. You get the spirit of truth, you get the Word of truth, and you get Jesus that is truth. Apply all three and stay out of deception. Do not negotiate your soul, do not negotiate your mind, do not negotiate your spiritual wellness by allowing deception to enter your door and to start to accommodating the things of this world. Jesus made it very clear, do not be deceived. In other words, be holy for I am holy. Jesus is a holy God, the Father is a holy Father, the Holy Spirit is a holy Spirit. Therefore, let's depart from wickedness and let's get back into the truth, living the word of truth and not in a spirit of deception like the rest of the world. We are not called the same. We are called different. We are the light and the salt. We are the bearers of the truth. So let's stay free from deception.